It's recommended you put this video on two times speed. Uh, so I created a game on the Coco's blockchain, and it's really cool. And uh, let me show you some. This is the game. This is all the. This is all the things. All the code. Um, and when I click pre play, then it will bring me to a page like this. And then, uh, once it's finished loading, uh, give it a second. Okay, so here's my game, right? So when you press start, you start hopping around with the physics and everything. And that sound. And as you can see, up there, it uh, is tracking my account name and how much cocos I have in the account. It's a test account, too. So, um, you go around here using A and D to hop the monster. And then when you press, and then when that happens, when you press replay, it goes back. And this is pretty much how you play the game. So, if I just die here. Can, 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 can you? No, no. Let me die. Okay. Boing, boing, boing. Okay. So, then when it goes out of the screen, it uh, usually runs a code and a uh, pop up will say in Japanese. Then you just gotta click the blue button, and then when you click the blue button, it will process the amount of stars you collected, which mine right there was just nine and then what it does then is it adds that amount of stars to your test account so if i bring the this down a second uh then it says 100 well, I received this for the test. It says test, but you can't see it because it's not in English. And then 100,000 cocos, right? And then, as you can see, 30 and 9. And then it also had an additional fee. But those 30 stars and 9 stars and stars that I just got, uh, those are all added onto the cocos pay extension. And... Uh, the additional fee is subtracted from this, so that's how you get. That's how I got the decimals. And how I did this was, I went. Oh, by the way, when you do that, uh, you have to have Coco's terminal out so you can view it. I uh, just simply went to Coco's Creator. Right, and go here. And then you wanna click right here. Uh, where it says Coco's 2D X or creator. And then you want to go to click download. So there. And then it will bring up this screen, Coco's 2DX-esque X SDK box and Coco's Creator. What you want to do is you want to download the Coco's Creator. And you can download whatever version you want, the uh, latest or the version that is like less old. And then you can download the Mac version or the Windows. And if you want to look for an older version of Coco's Creator, uh, then you would click look for older version. And then it would drop this down for Coco's 2DX. Like so. So. 
uh, once you click uh, that, uh, it will start downloading uh, this program right here. And uh, it has to go through a special process. Just keep clicking next and accept. And then once it finishes download and you open Cocos Creator, you will uh, this page will open, but it's blank. And uh, it let me go back. Okay, so when you press the X, it will bring you here. And then you can press New Project to create a new project. Open Other, and how how you would work? Open Other is you would open github it doesn't matter if you have an account or not and then go and then type in cocos games right and then most of the times you're just gonna see cocos helper but when you type that in then it will show up all of this uh, cocos 3d 2dx extension so many games and all that and then it tells you what code it is over here and then you can keep scrolling down until you find a game that you might want to use uh, and or modify and and in Cocos Creator when you're coding in this um, and you have this I recommend that you download Adam and uh, so you can uh, edit files um, and change them so that you can apply the um, blockchain cocos thing that I did and uh, Adam is really important and uh, there's something in there that's gonna be next episode with all of this HTML web pages and um, if you want to create the blockchain thing uh, get a game and then download Atom and then once you download Atom this is how you download it you can just go there type in Atom and then click not the first not the second but Atom.io then click that and then it will bring you to the website and then uh, you there right now it's only for Mac OS and it's really important for getting the uh, the blockchain thing because you can't do it with like office Windows office or anything so you want to press download, it will take you through the same thing that it did with um, Coco's Creator, except, you know, you're downloading uh, Atom. And then once you download Atom, you want to go here, type in Coco's BCX, enter. And then, right here. So... It is right here. A browser extension for Cocos BCX. Or not. Yeah. There's a lot of them. But um the one you want is dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. Well, you could choose any of these um, and like download them, and then once you download the BCX file, you can uh, once you download the BCX file, then what you need to do is you need to go back and then uh, go to your finder. and then go to applications then try to find the bcx file as 
there are, and if there are a bunch of BCX files, then uh, you're going to have to look at all of them to see which is which. And the BCX file you're looking for is the one with main JS package JSON and plugin. Well, any well, it has to have package JSON in it. it doesn't matter if it has main JS and plugin, but. After you find that, um, as you when you go here, you can go to developer, then developer tools. No, it's not developer tools. Sorry, sorry, my fault. It's not developer tools. Open into your projects. Let's give it a second. Okay, so still loading. Okay. So, um, Coco's creator just doesn't want to be working for me. There we go. Okay, so once you get this up, you'll see all this. You want to go to extension, and then this right here. So what you need to do is So, don't do what I'm doing. I'm just double checking. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go to your finder, then type in files. Did it say files? Is that what it said? Give it a second. Did it say files? Okay, packages. Okay, so go to your finder and then find packages. And there's going to be probably a lot of folders that have packages. And okay. Okay, see? Package, packages, so many packages, right? You're gonna look for the package that's empty. Like this one. The packages is gonna be empty, like this. It's going to be a lot of those packages if you attempt to do this multiple times. And it's, and then you want to take the BCX file, you want to open a new finder folder, do applications, BCX, you want to take the BCX file that has the package.dation. And then what you want to do is you want to move the BCX file into one of the empty folders like that. I'm not going to do it though. And then once you do that, uh, go back and then go into your Cocos Creator. You go to Extension and BCX should be there. And then press Install. I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. And then it should update and B a BCX folder should be under assets right here and then when you click on that it will give you this stuff uh, it will give you J it will give you JS and um, that's really how to put uh, and then uh, code the BCX so that code the BCX with Atom 
and preferably the only language I know it works with, Lua, L-U-A. I'm probably going to need to learn that a little. And once you do that and you add the code and everything and everything's good, then you can go press play and play your game. Pretty neat, huh? Yep. And then we're back to the start where we started from with my Cocos Creator game. And we press start. And we start earning stars. The max score I've ever had on this is 60. But I got tired of it, so I didn't like. I've learned the physics of this monster. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Okay. So then. Yeah, it should pop up, but it's not popping up because I'm recording. It always pops up. And, yep, as you can see, after you finish, it adds the amount of stars that you collected to your account. Because you just saw that my account was at 58 Cocos, but now it's at 69. And. Yeah, we implement that with uh, Adam. So, yeah, good educational video for you guys. And see, I'll see you guys next time.